Hello and welcome back. In this uh, lesson we're going to look at uh, a list box. Um, the list box is, uh, uh, the list object is a very powerful um, uh, tool to use in mobile applications. Uh, we'll introduce it now. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop, drag out a list box here from my uh, uh, from my uh, toolbox and I'm just going to put it on here onto the screen. Now if you look at the, the list box itself or the, the list object I've got to put a couple of buttons here to add stuff to it but I can a list box can hold um, a number of items are uh, fr from that okay and each item uh, in that collection uh, can be uh, again it can be po the list box can be populated from a, a different area or um, a, a database anything at all we like uh, now for this exercise I'm going to hard code a couple of things into it uh, so if I come over here with the list box selected I'm just going to call it uh, I'm just going to call it uh, LST names okay uh, that's the name of the object and if I come down here and you can see there there's item source and we'll, we'll come to that later but what I'm going to do is if you just come to items and you can see here it has collection if I just click the ellipsis beside that uh, you can see there I, I get a pop-up box asking me well uh, do I want to add items to it uh, so I'm going to add an item here and uh, you can see there it's a list box item and I'm actually get the content I'll just call this uh, Tom okay I'll create another one and I'll call this Bob okay and I'll say okay to that we'll go through the controls uh, later on the layout and everything there um, uh, in a later class but just to get this uh, up and running and I'll click OK and you can see there I have Tom and Bob inside of the hard coded directly into the actual list box itself uh, I'm just going to make the text on that a little bit bigger um, uh, on that just so you can see it a bit better uh, let's bring it up to 36 okay um, like that okay so there's uh, my list box let's just run this uh, code uh, now did we just type two names into um, into a box uh, hoping for the best and uh, now let's uh, note with each one uh, every item we use in the in the actual list box is indexed and it's also selectable so I can select Tom or Bob and have an event from that okay uh, that I can go to Tom's page or Bob's page or Bob's account or whatever I want to do there okay um, uh, let's go back to the uh, phone application um, what I want to be able to do here is to add names or remove names from the actual list box itself. Uh, to do that I've got to put on a text box. I'll need a text box if I want to add some names so I'll call this uh, uh, TXT input and uh, I'm just going to take the word text box out of the uh, there and I'm going to put on a button uh, so I'll grab my button here and just a small button there and I'll just call this button add or btn add and I'm just going to for the text of this button or the content uh, under C I'll just put add name add name okay here we go again okay so it looks a bit better so what I want to do is when a name is typed in here and I click add name it actually adds to the actual uh, uh, list of names that I have in the in the list box so again the action of this is going to go behind the add name button I'll double click that and just again make everything a little bit bigger so you can see it a bit better okay so first I want to collect um, the data here from uh, the list box or the, the, the text box and again we've done this before um, so I'll just declare a variable uh, and call it name and set this to the actual text input dot text uh, okay and terminate the line uh, 
Okay, so once I have the uh, whatever's been inputted there, uh, I want to be able to add that now to the list. Okay, so I bring up my list box. Uh, so LST, I've called it LST names. Okay, uh, dot again. This is very handy. Dot items. Uh, um, items. Okay, uh, again being a property of that. Okay, and um, what I'm going to do is take the add method here. Okay, again, add being the method. My parentheses, I'll just terminate the line there. Again, you can see I still have a red squiggly underline because, again, what am I adding to the list? Uh, again, everything we put into the list is known as an item. Okay, so, uh, and again, uh, the list will be a collection of items. Okay, so again, what I'm putting in here is the uh, variable name. Okay, uh, that's that. Okay, so let's uh, let's try this. Uh, let's run this in the uh, emulator. Okay, and again, so there's the two which have been hard coded in. Okay, uh, just press the page. I just press the page up there on my keyboard. It will allow me to do something. Uh, so I'll just put Damien. Okay, and click Add Name, and you can see there it adds it to the text box. Uh, again, if I uh, I put in Mary. Okay, and you can see there that Mary is added to the, that as well. Okay, so again and again, like that, each one of these is not just uh, an item, but it's a selectable and it's indexed. And as we get more into uh, list boxes uh, and list items, uh, you'll see how powerful this can be uh, as we go forward. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to put another button on the, I'll stop debugging here, and I'm just going to put another button onto the uh, the page, uh, I can just move that up there, just bring up my toolbox and button, and I'm just going to click remove name, I'm going okay. to play around here with it, okay, so I'll call this btn remove. And what I want to do is the text for this. I'll just put remove name. Okay. Okay, I'll just slightly bigger. Okay, and the action behind this button will be, uh, again, more or less the opposite to what we've had here. Um, Okay, in this one, again, I want to do, again, it's going to be the, the method, so LST, uh, names, okay, dot items, and this time I'm going to take the remove method, uh, so just hit R on the keyboard, and you can see there I have the remove method, okay, which is a method, and now in this uh, section, what am I going to remove? Again, in this case, the variable was only used in order to get the, uh, to put a name into it, but this time I must make a selection. Um, uh, 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 so what I'm doing is, what, the, what I want to do is remove a name that has been on the list, so therefore I must select a name on the list, okay, uh, uh, to be removed. Okay, so again, I'll just type in my LST, that's, this is the object, the, the list. Okay, what do I want to remove from that? Whatever I have selected, so I'll say says, hit S on the keyboard and come down to selected item. Okay, so now whatever is being selected, okay, is going to be removed. Okay, so let's uh, just test this out again. Okay, bring up my emulator. Okay, so let's just add a name uh, uh, here. And, okay, sorry, we said that one. Okay, add another one. Okay, um, can't spell me name right. Okay, uh, okay, okay. So there we have it. Remember, these two were hard coded in, so that's why they come up. So if I click on Damien here, so that's selected, and click remove name, you can see there it removes it from the list. Okay, I can select Tom, remove name, and remove that from the list. Okay, uh, so you can see um, we can populate the list box uh, by adding names, okay, and we can then remove things from that. 
Okay, the again, if I close or stop debugging this application again, when um, I run it again, uh, the first two names which are hard coded would come in. But obviously, where we'll take this a uh, little bit further is we'll actually populate that from a file on our C drive or data from a database. Okay, thank you for your attention.